Welcome back, and now we'll inquire some more information. That was quite a gamble, me. to refuse an enchanter. True, but I could not have accepted, even if I had wanted to. For I am a disciple of the cloud, and can serve no land dweller. Disciple of the cloud? What does that mean? First, tell me of what you seek up here. You take a deep breath, then explain about the door of destiny, the gems of nature, and your present quest to locate the growth gem. So, you seek the air gem. Yes, that is right. You know of it? Most certainly. But you will not be able to reach it by any means available to you or any of your kind. I would gladly take you to it, but alas, the enchanter took and hid from me my bridle. Without it, we could search for a thousand years and still never find the... Where did he hide your bridle? I do not know. Perhaps a clue may be found in that blackguard's abode behind me. What is this spirit you speak of? The essence of what you seek. It passes through us as we grow, all through our lives, though few are ever aware of it. You will know soon enough when I take you to it. Why do you choose to serve this cloud spirit? It is my destiny, and I must fulfill it, just as you must fulfill yours. I was not aware that I had one. All of us have a destiny. Some are predestined, others are determined by choice. I believe yours to be of the latter. You don't have anything else to say to the steed. Well, let's see what else. Let's see if we can find it. Well, you have better things to do than to try out the furniture. No matter what, I now have a crystal, so now I can wait for that blacker to come. Some incredibly valuable furniture has been placed here. You wonder how it is protected against the elements, as there are no obvious means of sealing the cave. The cave is adorned with the most beautiful coverings you've ever seen. The material sparkles in the light from outside the cave. There's almost something unreal about this brilliant decor. A neatly displayed scroll hangs on the wall. However, its archaic symbols and wording will forever remain a mystery to you. This long staff looks magical in nature. You hear footsteps approaching. Uh-oh, the enchanter has caught you in his lair. He twirls his hands, aims them at you, and then utters some words under his breath. You feel a tingling sensation all over your body as the enchantment attempts to transform you into whatever the enchanter has fancied. At the same time, you also feel the comforting energy of the emerald shielding you. The enchanter's twisted smile turns downwards. He scowls at you. Who is it now who smiles? There is a look of panic on the man's face. He does not dare breathe. I hereby order you to depart from Kalima forever, never to trouble its citizens again, lest you earn the fullness of my wrath. The enchanter looks baffled. You sigh inwardly and try again. Leave! If you come back, then you will get it! The enchanter nods frantically, as much as he can without cutting his own neck on your sword edge. He gestures quickly with his hands. You notice that some writing has been engraved into the wall. You read the inscription. The engraving on the wall reads, In row of stones that number six, half and a pair from left do pick, quell then my spell, avoid the tricks. Hmm. Well, I'm not a root. Well, seems like we need to go down again. 
that means we need to use the comet. Well, at least we do not need to fear the enchanter in the coming around down there all the time. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet rises into the air again. The carpet begins to descend. Let's continue. And it was the fifth stone, so one, two, three, four, five. And I think we are going to need to use the emerald there. You bend over and hold the emerald above the stone so that the sun's light channels through it. Incredible! The rock has transformed into a silver-studded bridle. You take the bridle. And now let's get back so we can get in the way. Can get back to the Let us take this back to the Disciple of the Clouds. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet begins to rise skyward. As you reach down to get the carpet, it vanishes into thin air, without even so much as a puff of smoke. You slip the bridle over the horse's head. It whinnies its approval. Come, Come climb, climb upon, upon my back. back. Well, where he takes us, we'll find out in the next chapter. <laughs>